Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss Taurus Sun and Taurus Moon combination. So this makes up for the first disposition. Uh, this is an interesting combination because I thought when you would have Taurus Sun and Taurus Moon, them being in the first disposition would make them friends. It actually makes what you call enmity. So they're actually enemies. They're considered to be a, a little bit in disagreement. And this goes for the person's internal world, their thoughts and their feelings, being the, the, your uh, sun sign. It's like your soul, it's your gut feeling, it's that inner fire that you have that we all have. And that's the kind of direction in our life. So it's similar to our life path. And then the moon is like our thought patterns. It's how we naturally think. And so with that being said, because they're the same sign, there is agreements, but there's disagreements. The disagreement comes first where Taurus moon because the moon is exalted is very empathetic and very giving and wants to just give to everybody in the sense that they're very friendly they're very diplomatic they're very understanding very cooperative and compassionate when Taurus is in the sun sign position inside real astrology it's very stubborn intolerant and um could be like a little bit hedonistic right so they don't get along meaning your your gut feeling is to say yeah i should probably be selfish but then your mind's saying no no, no i gotta help this person i gotta i gotta nurture them i gotta make sure they're good so they come into disagreement so if you have this be wary of that and understand that your soul wants to just more so be self-reliant be independent let every man or every woman live on their own and do their own thing make their own bed but there's another part of you, your thought patterns your conscious portion that's going to tell you not nah, like you you should be giving to other people you should be charitable so it's debatable which direction you want to choose, but always understand it's a binary thing. It's either going to be selfless or selfish. Choose one based on the situation. There's no right or wrong. The good parts of this is that you guys are very, very emotionally independent. Uh, nobody can get to you. This is the, like, the ultimate combination when it comes to stoicism and having a general understanding of how the world works. You guys are very grounded. You guys make realistic goals. You guys don't get caught up in fantasy and daydreaming. So this is very, very strong for that because they're both earth signs, both your moon and sun. You guys understand reality completely how it works in the tangible world and are able to get ahead in that realistic, competent, pragmatic way. So it's very, very good for business um, when it comes to anything to do with like um, sales, marketing, politics. Those are things where you guys can be very, very strong and even philanthropy like a charitable organization is very good. Because you guys are not affected by the outside world and your logic and your emotions can be separated and compartmentalized. Makes you guys very, very strong and also makes you guys a weaponized human being that people should be wary of. But that's it for the summary, guys. If you have any questions for me, just please leave it in the comment section. Aside from that, like, subscribe, holla meets for today, guys. Peace.